still holding on to our one in Elbert and Douglas County through six o'clock and another one in Park County, an unusual Higher country, higher elevation, severe thunderstorm warning has been issued. The first one still watching the worst of the hail just south of Parker. Very stationary, very slow movement through 6 o'clock and still our maximum hail threshold. You're up to about one inch in diameter. Highway 83, you're about to get hit with a nice punch of hail, though. Keep that in mind. Maybe put off travel for just a bit. Let these storms continue to travel out towards the plains where they eventually will lose steam. Fair play, 285, that's another severe thunderstorm warning through six. Hail's a bit bigger with this one, up to about one and a quarter inches in diameter. With the worst of that, you see your darker red right over 285. So again, perhaps delay some travel until these storms do depart. One other cell I'm still keeping an eye on is just towards Broomfield, north of Lakewood. This is a stronger storm now exiting the foothills. We'll see how much energy it can really tap into as it impacts northern portions of the metro area pushes out towards Brighton. As far as our storms are concerned, the worst of it lingers through about 8 o'clock and then we're in the clear, at least for the severe potential. There could still be a few lingering, slow-moving, heavy rain-making showers. Overnight tonight, even the clouds begin to break up and that will make way for a very seasonal night tonight. 50s, 60s out across the plains, 60s for the western slope. Everyone is above the freezing mark. And I said this yesterday, if you did bring your plants in for the hail concerns, well, we do it again tomorrow. Probably best to leave your plants inside, although temperatures not a concern. 80s and 90s for the western slope. A touch cooler up across the high country than the last few days. 60s and 70s will be making a return. I've gone with 87 for the metro area, 86 in Brighton. One key that we watch is just how quickly will our showers, thunderstorms, and clouds develop. That could be our one limiting factor for temperatures. Boulder, Broomfield County, we spend our day at 84 in Longmont, 81 in Lyons, so it's comfortable temperature-wise, no real complaints. This is where the complaints will begin to exist. It's another day with large hail as well as damaging winds, and our main time window will be 1 to 9, very similar to what we saw today. It's a low risk, level 1 out of 5. It once again will include Frisco, areas east, and then portions of the northern plains, all up 76, will be included. It's another day of slow-moving, moisture-driven storms. For that reason, tomorrow will be a first alert weather day. And I want to show you our temperature trend because we hold on to active weather through the Tuesday time period. And then we're more so dry Wednesday and Thursday. And temperatures, in turn, they really spike. Take a look at this. 81, that's where we typically should be for this time of the year. By Wednesday, we break into the 90s. By Thursday, 95 degrees. 97 is the old record, there's a good chance that we could bump these up and have near record, if not record breaking temperatures. So one more active day of weather tomorrow and then some dangerous heat makes a return by Thursday. Kelly, you need water, you need sunscreen, stay hydrated. Let's get through one more day of hail and then we get a nice break for the remainder of the week. Thanks for keeping an eye on it for us, Joe.